Hello and welcome out to Shawnee High School. We have WBL Volleyball here. Another league contest between the Shawnee Indians and the Salada Bulldogs. Garrett Mansfield and Darn Evergall bringing you the action here today. Early action in the WBL, but an important contest, Dar. Nonetheless, this is one that could come into factor when we get later into September and into October. Yeah, I think so. You're looking at a slant of teams coming in at 2-4, and four, but they're 1-0 in the WBL with a win over Van Wert. And you're looking at a Shawnee team that's 6-2, and 2-0 two, two and oh in the WBL. So, you know, both these teams down the, down the road, you know, are going to play a big, important part in who's going to win this WBL. Salina, one of the blue buds of the, con of the conference with 28 volleyball titles, but Shawnee coming off of their first in program history a year ago. They will have service first. Here's the starters out there for Shawnee, beginning with Mackenzie Brickner just coming off for the libero Maggie Jordan. Going to have the serve in coming from Carly Hutchins. And she'll be joined by sister Josie on the floor. Elizabeth Kinnear, Jana Upshaw round out the starting of five. And I left now Leah Rudisil. There's the starting six, rather, for Shawnee. Get to the Salina starters here as Hutchins sends it on in. We have Haley Kaiser, Olivia Ulenake, Miley Sapp, Sidney Jenkins, Lily Schreffler, and Kira Bangy on the floor for the Bulldogs. And already a quick start for Shawnee. On that Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard tonight, and it'll still be Hutchins with the serve in. The junior, second teamer in the Western Buckeye League a year ago, as Sapp receives that serve, and the attack is blocked. It's gonna go back on the Salina side, but out. And it's gonna turn into a kill for Sidney Jenkins. And that'll be the first serve of the night. Braylon Ashmore, the barrel rotates in. Sends it in, received by her counterpart, Maggie Jordan. And a nice serve for her, too. Looking at Shawnee, just to set the table for the Indians. Darn, you mentioned six and two. A couple of big league wins. Early Bath and Elida went down. As Hutchins serves into the net, that's Josie. But last time out, a sweep of Spencerville, but that was outside. That, that was, was outside. Yeah, yeah, there was. Interesting. I mean, you know, we were talking about that last week before the Spencerville and Shawnee matchup. That, you know, what the weather would be like, what the wind would be like, all those things that play a factor into an outside game. Got the sport court out there. Turned into a great event. This one's going to go out, and Salina will keep the serve as the score gets even. Eh? Avery Niekamp on the serve. Received by Shawnee, third hit goes over the top. This will be an attack from Bangy. Dug out by Jenkins. There's a third hit over. Libero to Libero. Hutchins sets up Ruddesil. Cross court attack falls in for the Indians. I'll tell you, the Indians team, you know, like I said, they're six and two. They played 24 sets so far. They've won 16 of those sets, you know. You know, Slime, on the other hand, you know, with 15 sets coming in here. They've won five and lost 10. But, you know, this Bulldog team, you never can count them out. Niekamp receives the serve. Jenkins on the attack, drops it in. Nice diving dig by Carly Hutchins. Rodasil with the swing. Nice pass here set up from Jordan. Now Hutchins on the attack. But Niekamp keeps it in the air. Good volley going right now. The pass just went over, but it go back to Upshaw. Cross court attack. She gets it inside the stripe. Shawnee continues to rally. Well, we, we don't have all the updated stats for Shawnee, but that was 66 kills on 17 sets coming into this. this so Upshaw is the person you want to get it into. Top attacker for Shawnee as a freshman. Ooh. And there is the number two attacker, Leah Ruddesil. And she drops one in. She's already at three. That's half of the Shawnee tally so far. Maggie Jordan will serve. 
Seed by Niekamp, pass from Kaiser. Now Jordan wants to go to Upshaw. And a nice diving dig for Salina. There's a block oh, up nice. front, but a continuation. Ruddesill, dug by Niekamp. Pass for Kaiser. And long on the, on the hit for Ashmore. Serve will stay with the Indians. I'll tell you what, Garrett, that was a great volley, though, between the two of them. I mean, both teams keeping the ball alive, you know, getting an opportunity on both sides of the ball. Here's the Kaiser pass for Kira Bangi. And that goes out the back end. 8-3 start here for Shawnee. And a timeout for Salina. Go head coaches Amy Suter, Christy Binkley want to talk this one over before letting the Indians get too big of an advantage. We'll take the timeout as well. Back with more volleyball from Shawnee on WOSN. Welcome back to Shawnee WBL Volleyball between the Indians and Selena, Lady Bulldogs. See what Selena can do here out of that timeout, Dar. Good, good one to take early. But it's starting to tip quickly towards Shawnee, but a, another quick score. Bulldogs looking to just get some organization here started. Yeah, and they're having a little bit of a problem when it gets back to the back row there, trying to volley it back over again. They've been long on about two or three of their their hits back there, so they're gonna have to get them reorganized a little bit in that middle. Uh, there's service error on Shawnee, and that'll be one way for Slyne to get, to get it right back. Sydney Jenkins will serve. Bulldogs offensively will try to find ways to get Miley Sapp involved. She leads the team about three kills a set. There's a hit for Jenna Upshaw, another attack for the Shawnee freshman. And it's quickly 10-4. I love you look at Upshaw, you know, at five foot 10, she really gets up her high over the top of the net and comes down really hard with it then. Comes the third for Sydney Burris. Received by Jenkins, now Kaiser to sap in the middle, and it's dug out by Burris. Good cross court attack, Leah Ruddesill lands on it. Perfect shot down that sideline. That could have been in by more than six inches. Nobody home there for the Lady Bulldogs. Quick start for Shawnee. And Burris continues to serve, and she's gonna get an ace out of that one. Braylon yeah, Ashmore sure tried to pry it out of the ground. Commanding 12-4 start for Shawnee. And now Burris, line drive met by the Bulldogs. Kaiser, long pass for Kira Bangi. Now Shawnee sets up, there goes Kaylee Hutchins. It was gonna be a touch or inbounds. Might have gotten both there. Hutchins primarily a center, but kinda can play everywhere. Certainly can, and this Indians team has just gotten more Chances up at the net than Salina can able to get. And there, Kira Bangi converts for the Lady Bulldogs. As Sapp will drop back to serve, and Lily Schreffler checks back in. Yeah. Kira Bangi coming in with 31 kills in those first six matches for uh, Salina. Number two hitter for the green and white. And there, Hutchins, another attack and score. She has back-to-back -back kills in that front rotation right now for Shawnee. They'll get Josie in the game. Alongside Carly and Mackenzie Brickner up in the front row currently for the Indians. Their long pass for Kaiser and a good hit from Bangy. Maybe too much to handle for Shawnee. And that's a real first outside hitter opportunity the Slides really had where they had a chance to really come down hard on it. And with that high Healy, Kaiser drops back to serve. Received by Jordan. And the setup, that time for Brickner. Gonna go too long. Slime eight. 
Now 14-7 for Shawnee so far. Another Kaiser serve. Another setup for Carly Hutchins. Long pass for Shawnee. Now Bangy again, that time right in to the tape. Yeah, Bangy with an odd angle on that one there, really couldn't get anything on it. 15-7 as Shawnee. Quickly rolling in set one. Tapped over the top for Schreffler. Now here's attack for Josie Hutchins. Too strong for Shawnee. And so far, Shawnee's really been given them the points for Salina. They really haven't had that many that they've gotten on their own. A lot of Shawnee's spikes have been long. Serve off the top of the, the net, but Carly Hutchins gets sets up, set up here. And they're going to call a player of the net for Shawnee to kill that play. It's going to go against Sidney Jenkins. There also would have been a whale of a dig. Now Shawnee rotates around with Upshaw back up front. Yeah, it's remarkable. Watch these, these out there when they dive for the balls and be able to get them when they're about an inch off the ground. A short serve for Hutchins. Salina needs to put a few points together in a row. There's an attack from Liz Kinnear. And Salina cannot return it. Well, what you got to be impressed about with uh, Shawnee's hitters at the net is that they don't hit right down the middle usually. They're either going for one side or the other side. They're trying to get it right on the line. Sammy Reddick checks in. And she'll drop back and serve now for Shawnee. And that's going to go right over and hit back by Leah Runnisill and turns into another kill. Shawnee doubling it up again at 18 to 9. Big serve is met. Kaiser on uh, a pass to Yulinek. And it goes long on this corner. Near side. So far, the Bulldogs have struggled with that you know, middle hit there because they've all gone long. They're just not getting up high enough from the middle row to be able to put it over like that. Dug out by Bangy. And there they got Miley Sapp right in the heart of the offense. Miley Sapp with 45 kills coming into this match. The senior, you know, six footer out there for this line of Bulldogs. Yeah, tough pass. And yeah, Upshaw just has to poke it over. Shawnee had to. Oh, nice dig. Improvise, and now. If Salani can return this, they're not going to be able to. Couple tough bounces, not able to rally. I was waiting for that, Garrett. It was the first one that's yep. going to hit the ceiling yep. up there, and that's a tough play when it comes off of that. Because it was basically that one there when it hit so hard up there that it just comes straight down on you. Kaiser sets up Jenkins, blocked in the front. But the Bulldogs keep it in the air. Oh, nice. nice. diving stop for Hutchins, but they got two hits on Shawnee on the way over. A lot of hustle for wow. a tough play like that to end. Sapp will serve. Schreffler takes her place in the front. To make sure the rotations are correct for Salina. That would be Jenkins serving. They must have had a, a turn too many. 
might be a good thing for Salina because I keep sapping the front line. And we're going to get an air on the Indians in the front. Set air against Carly Hutchins. Now Sydney Jenkins will line this one up again. Underhand pass for Hutchins to Upshaw. Blocked and stay on the Shawnee's end, but that won't get returned. And they're on a sill. Yeah. Rotate Burris back in. I'll tell you, the senior there really put the hammer down on that one there. She got up just high enough to hammer it. Haley Kaiser, long pass to Kira Bangy, dug by Jordan. Here's Carly Hutchins, finds that back corner. And Shawnee within three of claiming set one. I've really been impressed with the Indians when it comes to their, their spikes and down because they're really going for that back corners and the sides. There's a receiver on Salina. But that's going to... Wipe out that last play because the Bulldogs had a timeout. We'll take it to 22-12. Shawnee up breaking close to our first set here on WOSN. Back at Shawnee where our sponsor on the scoreboard today is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud partner of Mercer County Athletics. Salina trying to get a rally here at the end of the first set. And Carly Hutchins drops a little finesse ball on the other end for Shawnee. Puts the Indians within two. Yeah, perfect, perfect set right there for them. I mean, Carly Hutchins just went up there and just tapped it right where nobody was standing. A little moisture on the floor there. Mm -hmm. Sidney Burris serving next for Shawnee. Haley Kaiser setting up Sapp and she pounds it. The numbers have her good for about three a set. That's where she is currently. Better than a quarter of the Solano scoring in this first opening set. Now Sapp drops to serve. Long pass for Hutchins. Did she land it? Did indeed, also had a bulldog in the net. So set point. And to do the honors, Leah Ruddesil. Kaiser just drops oh. it over, nobody there. Smart play. Good heads up move by the junior center from Salina. She'll serve now, but not before a sub. And a long serve ends our first set. Shawnee impresses early on. They take a 25-14 opening set. Take the time out return for the beginning of set number two right here from Shawnee on WOSN. Welcome back to Shawnee High School. Indians took a first set win over Salina in this Western Buckeye League battle early season action. And a miss hit for Salina starts our second stanza. Indians will set back and serve. And got one set under our belts here, Dar, and so Shawnee pretty crisp, and you know, Salina just Still trying to find that, that early rhythm, but it takes, you know, sometimes it takes a set to do that. Well, I think the Indians won in that first set at the net and at the digs, because I think they, they kept the ball alive a lot of times when it looked like the, the rally was gonna be over with. 
and then they were able to finish it off up at the net. Salina has just not been able to do that yet. There's the attack from Lily Schreffler, but kept in the air for Shawnee. Kaiser sets up for Jenkins, and she's blocked. Oh, good, good recovery. There's Upshaw, just plows that one down into the hardwood. I tell you, I often wonder with that left-handed, you know, smack like that, you know, the, the rotation on the ball is entirely different. And where she was set up there on that right side, that's the wheelhouse. But it was left-handed outsides. And there's a Sydney Jenkins attack. That gets Salina on the board. The Bulldogs really needed that one, too. It was, our, it was just eight to three in that first set before Salina took their first stoppage. And I have a service there here to hand the ball back to Shawnee. This will be the serve for Sammy Reddick. No miscommunication on the Salina end. Reddick will do the honors once more. That's a good serve by Reddick too. It had a nice little downward slope to it. Finds Jenkins. Haley Kaiser for Sapp and she does the damage right in the middle of the Shawnee rotation. I'll tell you what, when Saps, you know, gets a good setup in that middle or even on the outsides, she's the per go-to person for this line of Bulldogs. And so far, they've not been able to get it to her as consistently as they like. Big block, but it's going to be so, it's going to hit so hard, flies out the, the tail end. 6-2 start for Shawnee in the second set. Liz Kinnear checks in. Maggie Jordan serve. Nice serve. It's going to ricochet off of knee camp, and Salina does their best to try to recollect that ball. And similar territory to where we were in set one here. Jordan into knee camp. Now here's Sapp dug out by Reddig. This jump pass from uh, Hutchins turns into a score for the Indians. Yeah, Sapp just not really getting all of that ball on that one there. Gave the Indians an opportunity to score. Here's Jordan Sir. He can't just taps it. Long pass for Kaiser and then blocked up front. That was more of an over ball for <laughs> Kira Bangy and just deflected by Liz Kinnear and now it's 9-2. And that will trigger a Salina timeout. We'll take it as well back shortly to Shawnee. Second set, WOSM. Scoreboard sponsor today is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Reads 9-2 in favor of Shawnee and Maggie Jordan comes out of the timeout with a service ace. And Dar, this is one of those sports where momentum is about, I mean, you can feel it. And right now is, despite that, serving the net for Shawnee, trying to capture it and garner it and turn it into yep. points, that it's really one of the sports where momentum Arguably, could be some of the mo one of the most important things. It certainly is, and emotion plays so much into it. I mean, you know, once you get in onto a roll and you can feel it, you know, then the hits come right after that. Here's the attack dug by Jordan. Great play on the defensive side. Here's Leah Ruddesill blocked and kept alive. Good job by Sapp, and nice lead on on the other end of the net. Bangy finds an opening. And the Lady Bulldogs really needed that desperately, down 10-4. And all the momentum on the Shawnee side, like we were talking about, Garrett. They really need to get a point. 
Here's Jenkins, great serve. Met by Reddig. Hutchins with the setup for Ruddesell, blocked by Sapp. Those long arms gets up there, and that disrupted everything. And now you're starting to feel Solana maybe get their arms around some of that energy. And you have Sapp in the, the middle. Well, she's the leader. There's no doubt about it on this Lady Bulldog team. I mean, when she's up there on the around that net anywhere, you know, it, you, they can feel it. Hutchins to Upshaw and a miss hit here on the right side. That's three in a row now for Slina. Jenkins will continue to serve. And here you have some of your bigger hitters in the front for Shawnee. Top defenders in the back. Nice line drive serve for Jenkins, and that's an ace. It keeps on rolling for Salina. Now we talked about emotion and momentum, mm -hmm. and now we're seeing it shift over to the yep. green side. One set to none lead for the Indians, who had a commanding 9-2 lead at one point. And Jenkins serve met by Rudisil. That's got to just get tapped over, but it turns into a score from Carly Hutchins. Well, overball turns into a point. Kind of caught Salina a little flat-footed on that one there. Sydney Burris will serve now for the Indians. Nobody really home in the middle, but great job, Haley Kaiser. And a bad set for Shawnee. Good way to stick with that play for Kaiser. Just bump it over. Kind of a broken play, but the Bulldogs take advantage. Now Sapp will serve. Lined it into the net. Rotate back around, Ruddesill to serve. Josie Hutchins in for Shawnee. Taps in for Reddig. Ruddesill fires it in, seen by Jenkins. And now there's a big hit for Olivia Ulenake, and it's going to go out. About a ball's width behind that back line. Put Shawnee up five. Checking rotations here at the table. There's so many things in volleyball that you don't think about. You know, you think, well, it's hitting the ball and, and defending and that mm -hmm. kind of thing, but rotations, getting the right people in the right spots. And I want to get some moisture cleaned up in the meantime. Serve back in. Haley Kaiser for Ulenake. I got off the end of the hand, but still got a good result. And now Josie Hutchins. She's passed that one down. Josie Hutchins, that's just, just a freshman. Got a couple of freshmen out there for the Indians. Almost two kills a set. All the year for Josie. Attack goes out the, the tail end. Smart move by Jordan, too, just to turn her head, get it out of the way. Put Shawnee to 15 8. Run a still serve. Kaiser sets up for Kira Bangi. Here's a Josie Hutchins kill. Nice dig on Sap. Dumped over by Kaiser. Pass towards Whoa. Kaylee Hutchins. The assist from Sydney Burris. Now you have a, a lot of the assists will come from Hutchins. Burris the number two. And most of them, you gotta think about it. <laughs> if Carly's not hitting them, nope. someone's gotta get it to her. There's a long attack from Liz Kinnear. 
Yeah, just not enough height on that one there to put, put it down. Maybe a Yolenek will rotate back in for Salina. That left front, line drive serve by Haley Kaiser. And the Bulldogs had, you know, four or five of those into the net. Seven just when it looked like they were making a comeback, you know, the Indians have now put some points together again. And we're gonna get a player over our center line for Shawnee. That'll neutralize the volley for the Bulldogs. Serving Kirabangi. The two seniors on this Lady Bulldog roster. Carly Hutchins. Everything going forward and towards the net. Good attack, and Solana mishandles it. Well, Hutchins had a nice two or three step run to that right there. And there's not a whole lot you're going to do to defend it when she's got that kind of momentum going. Nice line drive serve, hits the other side, and brilliantly done by Addy Kriegel. Saw where the defense was rotating. Misdirected that ball to where nobody was. Puts the Indians back in front by nine. So Hutchins again, and Salina thought that was a, I don't know, maybe. That might go a little strong. That's going to trigger another timeout for Salina. We'll take it 2010 here from Shawnee. Set two will be back on WOSN. Back at Shawnee, well, we're reminding you, board cutters can access WOSN for free with their antenna at 44.2. We're on the app at $8 a month. Sign up at app.wosn.tv. Another service ace for Shawnee. And looking around the WOSN app during that last break, going back through the standings in the WBL. And Dar, we've hit on this a little bit coming in, but being so early, you have a hard time looking ahead. But when you have two of these programs meeting this early, it can really shift the conference race early, with, especially when you have a team like Defiance already turning heads, undefeated in the conference to get started. And you know, that's not going to be too much longer where that fun drive up to Defiance for these Indians would happen. Yeah, certainly. I mean, we talked about it, you know, like it, you know, both these programs here are long histories of good and good volleyball, particularly Salina coming into this. Shawnee's been the last few years have really picked up the momentum themselves, you know, and a big win here if Shawnee can pull this off and go 3-0 and in the WBL, that's going to be huge. Good strike from Lily Schreffler. Salina not going to go quietly here. Still quite a bit of ground to make up. And just one point to give. Libero Braylon Ashmore with the serve. And there's Sap, a little too strong. So set point now for Shawnee. And Sammy Reddick checks in for her turn. Kaiser to Jenkins, blocks, but the Bulldogs keep the ball in the air. And a low attack from Bangy, and that'll wrap up set two. Another dominant set win for Shawnee. They take a two set to none lead, 25-11 on the heels of a 25-14 win in the first set. We'll take a time out return, get you to the third on WOSM.
back at Shawnee where the Indians have a two cent to none lead. Our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone, Brown supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Here at Mansfield, seated next to Dar Nevergal at Shawnee High School. And Dar, we've seen an impressive an opening couple sets from the Shawnee Indians. But Solana gets one quickly here. And maybe this is what they need to kind of steer this match back their, their way. Yeah, they certainly have an uphill battle right now, down two sets to none. But, you know, and the way the momentum has been for Shawnee and some of the way they've been able to dig it out and play tonight. But anything can happen. Cross-court attack from Josie Hutchins. Gets the set from Sister Carly with the score. And quickly gets the ball back in to Sammy Reddick, who comes to serve for Shawnee. I'll tell you, I'm really impressed with Carly Hutchins because she's really, you know, like she listed in there coming in at five foot ten, but she gets up there a lot higher than five foot ten. A little miscommunication between head coach Brooke Hutchins and server Reddick. She kind of double clutched and then misfired the serve. The Indians can get that one back. Now here's Sapp with a huge hit. Makes it 3-1. Rotated right over and just slammed it down. We're in rare territory right now for Salina yes. after that first two, two sets. Maggie Jordan with the serve receive. Nice dig from Ashmore. And Avery Kneecamp gets that one to drop in. And Solana keeps it rolling. Good start to the set for the Bulldogs, which they need this set to keep the match going. Best of three here as the next serve from Ashmore is too strong. Well, we've seen that too often tonight for uh, Salina, where they get something going and then they, you know, miscue either a ball into the net or too long, you know, stops their momentum. Ashmore about 90% serving, and that is just pushed over by Sapp too far. Now here's Jordan to serve. And then he's had a lot of success when Jordan's back there serving. Over ball after the receive from Knee Camp. And Jenkins back over for Shawnee. Haley Kaiser back set for Sapp. Good block. Great block up the front. Hutchins underhand to Upshaw. Did it get over? I guess so. Yep. We had a good look at it, but it appears that Salina. Still made contact with the ball, or even at four. It's with that hard hitting action, so quick. It's tough to pick up. Really shows you the skill of the officials in these situations as Shawnee attacks into the net. And you can't say enough about the officials. That's a tough job to, with the way the action is in volleyball. Sydney Jenkins, her serve is wide. Back to five all. Subs in for the Indians. Sydney Burris. It's military appreciation night here at Shawnee. And the special libero jersey on Baggy Jordan. A little number change for her tonight, too. See the Indians. Assistant co coaches and the JV squad hanging around. Special warm up tops as well. And a good ceremony before the national anthem today, honoring the friends and relatives of, and really a lot of the mentors and important figures from our armed forces in the lives of the volleyball players from both Shawnee and Solana. We're honored before our anthem today. Salina going right back and forth with the Indians here. They look like they caught their groove. Well, they, they, their emotions and, and their mental state has changed here in this set. 
A little long on the sap, but sap serve. Well, came into the, the match today. Sap had just two service errors. I believe that's her second of the match. Uh, that is a tough serve to return. Sydney Jenkins did everything she could. Not sure if a crowbar would have been helpful yeah, that's in that situation. Certainly what, yeah, you're right, Garrett. That, that was a perfect serve in all ways. Just barely clearing the net and nice downwards spiral to it. This time, Rudisil goes a little long. And Jordan keeps that ball in the air. Over to Josie Hutchins, dug out by Sydney Jenkins. Now Haley Kaiser, long pass to Kira Bangy. Shawnee keeps it going. Oh. But just a tough second hit. And Bangy lands one for Salina. Nobody able to break away here in this third set. Well, we'll see how much energy Salinas had to expend so far in this set. And a touch in the middle. That was kind of a broken play for Shawnee. But credit Hutchins with the kill. Two-point advantage right now for Shawnee. And this is an important part of the match right here, Dar. You get one or two here, you might. Not saying you're going to get that, but. Salina oh. will have to try to counter a great save by the Indians. And that's going to come out. Barely miss. I think that was the arms of Burris on this end. Had a great dig earlier on in there to keep yep. that ball even alive. Great play. Great plays on both sides during that volley. But back to the previous point trying to be made. You get a couple of quick ones here for Shawnee, you might be able to start deflating the Bulldogs, but they are not gonna let that happen. They keep scoring. If they can just quit shooting themselves in the foot, that's the biggest thing right now for Saline is they get momentum going, and then they make a miscue either on the serve or something along that lines, and they just hurt themselves. Looking to bend, but not break. Outside setup for Josie Hutchins. And a big block on a Jenkins attack, but it's going to go out. That'll be a, some other Salina score back to within one. Nicely done by the Bulldogs. Now they have to take advantage of this, and they got to put together two or three points in a row. Bangy. Outside to the right, and how about oh that? Tough to defend <laughs> for Carly Hutchins. Nobody home in the back corner. Nothing you can do about that except watch it go by. Sydney Burris checks out. Gianna Upshaw back in. That's a tough part of the rotation for Shawnee. Got a lot of size in the front right now. Good defense in the back. Hutchins and Strong. Give it back to Salina on the next serve. Bill Ashmore. Great fight from Salina in this third set. Outside to Upshaw. Not much you could do to defend that. No, and, it, and we haven't seen Upshaw, you know, for a while get one of those hits like that. But she's over on the other side now. She gets a big left hand. I'll tell you what, if she can bring that down, forget about it. Haley Kaiser to Miley Sapp. Sapp didn't get all that ball, and now when there felt like fingertips more than anything else, but it's a perfect spot for it. It's Avery Kneecamp to serve. Jordan receives. Outside pass. And too hard to handle. Leah Rudisil. Yeah, 
There's that opportunity, Gary, you were talking about, where you can put together three or four points in a row here. Kind of take the wind out of the line of sails. Long pass for Jenkins and just a little fingertip tap. Mackenzie Brickner, well defended at the net. Now Jordan. Kaiser back set for Sapp. Good hit. Deflected at the net to slow up the momentum. Rudisil. As they communicate right after that, you know, that's a good sign from center to uh, two outside hitter. You know, I'd like it a little bit closer yeah. or, or here or there just right. to get into my swing better. Oh, a nice adjustment. Rudisil. Launches it too far. Slide it back in again at 14-13. Just a one-point differential here in the third set. Bulldogs know they have to be the first to 25 and by two. We continue this, a heck of a dig for Avery Meekamp. And then the Bulldogs score it right after the big play. All square at 14, now it's a, a race over the next 11. Just shortening the set here. Remaining tie. Hutchins and it's Brickner. That gets the ball down. So far our most tightly contested set of the night. Shawnee jumped out to leads of 8-3 and 9-2. Set one and set two. And serve from Sidney Burris. He goes wide. Man, what a match. Here's Miley Sapp. And a long pass by Sidney Burris. But Shawnee gets another opportunity, finds Carly Hutchins on the outside left. Well, they've got that one down, Pat. Yep, they do. And know exactly where Carly Hutchins likes it, and they're putting it right there on the money for her. Ruddesill's turn to serve. Attack kept up. Now Burris outside oh, nice to block. Hutchins. See if they got a tip at the net. They did. It's going to be a Salina point. They're going to call that ball out. That brings us back to 16 all. Now the points needed is down the nine for either side. A little too long for Salina on the serve. Another one of those miscues they really cannot afford. Mm -hmm. I mean, they fought hard this whole entire set, you know, and then they just can't seem to get over the hump. Sapp receives. Brickner's serve. Sends it over on the third hit. Set up for Hutchins. Nice dig by Sapp again. Kara Bangy was in the attack. It's Hutchins. Didn't get it over the stripe. That's four hits on Salina. Or make that on Shawnee, excuse me. Got it up again at 17 now. Nice dig for Kaiser. Jenkins the pass to Bangy. Dig on the other end. And Kaiser, that caused some trouble. And there the Bulldogs have a lead here. I believe that's the first lead that they've had here in this set. Yep. Outside of really early. Yeah. Three, when they had 3-1 uh, off three the one. bat. Yep. But it's been a minute. They've hung right there. 
And now over the hump, can they get a two point advantage? Great dig and an over ball and that's gonna be another Bulldog score. You can feel that energy rising for Celina. Closing in. This is a big volley right here. And a tough pass for Burris. And Shawnee just kind of had to punt the ball over. To Josie Hutchins, too strong. Salina that wow. first to 20. And timeout Shawnee. Their first timeout of the match. And it comes in the third set. Up two cents to none, but the Bulldogs giving a fight on WOSN. Solana in an exciting third set. Bulldogs need to win this to keep the match alive. Shawnee with a couple of dominant set wins. It was Hutchins out of the timeout. Oh. That is the response Shawnee yeah. desired out of the timeout. One of those things as a coach that must make you feel very good when you call a timeout rally the troops and they respond. And you, get, and you get it right to where you want it. Nearly landed on the serve. Hutchins underhand pass to Upshaw. I'll tell you what, that, that windmill hit that she does, this is unbelievable and, and you can, you're not gonna stop it. And not far behind that 10 foot line. And the ball gets on the other side. When you're in that territory, you're getting on top of the ball. You certainly are. Great dig, Maggie Jordan. Pride the Schreffler attack out, and that oh is a my. third straight score. Three different attackers. Hutchins to Upshaw to Rundasil. Bang, bang, bang. And Shawnee's back to all square 2020. Now let's see how Solana responds. Yeah, Salina's used up a lot of energy in this set. Jenkins will send it over on the third hit. Hutchins underhand pass, Ruddesill. Got under it a tad. Now let's see what Salina has in store as we... I mean it's... Hutchins on a pass, Maddie Kriegel. Now Kaiser over. Hutchins to Upshaw. That is hard to handle. And it is. Kaiser did get under the ball. But it's got such a spin on it. I mean, you get a hand on it, but it's got such a spin that it's really hard to control it. High flying, hard hitting WBL match tonight. Here's Jenkins, kept alive by the Indians. Ruddesill, it's a tough pass. Oh, nice job of Jordan. Now Upshaw, dug by Kaiser. Outside Olivia Ulanate, and in. she had it right on that back line. She's knocked a couple of those back into that area. Hasn't quite gotten it to fall, but that is when Solana needed one bad. High fives all around. Now Olivia Nekamp. Big block, Miley oh. Sapp. She hasn't gotten a chance to get too many of those tonight, but that one's big for the Bulldogs. And a timeout Shawnee. Two points to go for the Bulldogs to force a fourth set. Will unfold. We'll see next on WOSN. Salina in a must win set. Played it tremendously in this third against Shawnee, who took the first two sets. 
Big attack for Shawnee. Ball is over to Jenkins. And Upshaw dug out by Avery Nikian. Ronasil, did she get a tip at the net? Did. And both timeouts Shawnee has taken here this late in this set, Dar. They've gotten that first score. And a little bit of magic on the timeout there. And perfect set for Rodicell on that one there because it got right where in her wheelhouse where she wanted it. That's just got to get pushed over. Jordan Upshaw blocked by Sapp, but the oh, nice Indians keep it alive. Oh, that my. is that all started with Maggie Jordan keeping the block by Sapp off the floor, and now we're all square at 23. That's one young lady you got to really be impressed with is Maggie Jordan. Played a whale of a game defensively tonight. Low line drive serve, and it will go wide to the left. Set point here for Salina. Sydney Jenkins serving. And Shawnee has a wet spot on the floor. Trying to locate it. But Jenkins again will serve for the Bulldogs. Salani can get this point. We're off to set four. And two Indians. There we go. Get in the way, the miscommunication Seeds the point, and Salina forces a fourth with a hard-fought victory in set number three. We'll take the timeout, return for set four. Watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Start of the fourth set. Salina with a gutsy third set victory, 25-23. It was back and forth, but they were able to withstand. A couple of comeback tries for Shawnee. They give away the first one on a long serve. Yeah, that third set was a character builder for Salina, because boy, the way Shawnee came out in the first two sets, you didn't think that Salina would have any chance in this match at all. And yet they were able to fight back and fight back until they finally took that third set. Jenkins hits into the net. Talk about character building. Look at the upcoming schedule for Solana. Very busy week ahead for the Bulldogs. They'll take on Minster on Saturday. Then they'll go on the road next week for two more MAC matches. Four hits there on Salina, 3-0 Shawnee. They'll go to Fort Recovery, then New Bremen, and then Kenton next Thursday night for league action. Shawnee will take on Ottoville on Saturday. And then, we talked about that WBL matchup, potential battle of league unbeatens next Thursday night in defiance. Bulldogs and the Indians will get together. The old Taj Mahal up there. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's like a small college. It is. An attack for Shawnee, 3-1 in this fourth set. A pass from Jordan, here's Kaylee Hutchins. Big old hit, and it's 4-1 Shawnee. You know, the Indians starting out this, this set saying, we're going to leave no doubt. We're not going to, you know. But again, you got a gutsy Bulldog team over there that really just stays with it. And Miley sat with some authority. Lays down the law with that one. Now this is Avery Decamp serve. 
And when Miley snaps up on that front line like that, and if you can get it to her with a good set. Here's an attack for Jenkins. Hutchins outside for Leo Rudisil. And the cross court attack not going to make it in. Lee Camp again. It's going to be met by Sammy Reddick. Eddie Kriegel pops that one down. So Shawnee with some. Good attack numbers here early in the set. Now this is the way they started out the first two sets. See if they can keep this momentum going. Looking yeah, for that. A little bit more moisture out there. They have a lot of advantage when they got Jordan back there serving too, because she's just played an outstanding game on her serving and on her digs. And quite a number of big time defensive plays. A low line drive serve will turn into another Jordan serve on the way. Doubling up Solana to start the fourth set. 2-1 is your set advantage on that Wallbash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. And your set blocks. Oh, Rudisil and Liz Kinnear. Jordan, a rare service error. And it just missed that one off the side of her hand. And too strong from Jenkins. Rotate back around for Sydney Burris to enter the match. Johnny. And we haven't kept track of how many unforced errors that, you know, by either team, but Sly is definitely losing the battle in that respect. Sapp had to adjust on the a lower pass than she expected. And Kira Bangi with the attack. Returned by Kaylee Hutchins. Jenkins with a nice dig. Kaiser to Bangi. Good job on both ends, and we're going to get a player in the net for Salina. They had Kaiser too close to the twine. And she's trying to sort out where the infraction would have happened. Perhaps you at home had a better look. Sydney Burris serves in. Here's Kaiser, cross court to Bangy, dug out by Jordan. And not quite able to corral that one. Kira Bangi's delivered some big, big points for Salina. They got Sap in the, the back row. Got to find a way to balance that out. And a little bit of a bit of a long attack for Kayla, or for Carly Hutchins. Good job by Jenkins to get out of the way of that one, though. Get a little acrobatic there. Here is Sapp on the serve. For Hutchins. And Sapp tried to dig it out, but quite an attack. You've got Hutchins out there, or you've got Upshaw out there, either one of those two. You know, you put it up there on top of the net like that, forget about it. Sap from the back row. Couldn't get it inside the tape. Yeah, it's really a disadvantage when Sap's in the back row. I mean, they really need her up at the net. Set for Kira Bangi, and a big score. And that'll rotate Solana around a bit. 
basket, Olivia Yulinak. Kaiser. Oh, good dig. A shot of the back row by Sapp, but the rest of the defense can't rally. Shawnee nearly to the halfway point of this fourth set. Already leading two to one. Took the first two sets. Combined 25-14, 25-11. Before we went the distance, 25-23 in set three. Of course, Salina won that to keep the, the match going. Attacking air for Salina. Puts the Indians on a 13-7 advantage on that Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. And a big hit up front. That was Kira Bangi. Kira Bangi really been playing out there out of her mind most of this you know, particular match. She's had a lot of good digs, a lot of good hits. Josie Hutchins got a whistle in front. I got another Bulldog into the net. Give Upshaw back in the front for Shawnee. And Carly Hutchins will serve. It's a good rotation for the Indians. I mean, you get Hutchins drops back, and when she has to go back, you get Upshaw up front. Oh, man. Big hit. And Salina in the separator again. Fifteen eight for Shawnee. And with that, Salina will take a timeout. We'll step aside as well. Back with more from Shawnee on WOSN. Scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County. And well, it's two sets to one. The home Shawnee Indians with the advantage on that end, leading in the set as well, 15-8. Got to a fast start, winning the first two. Solana rallied for a set three win. And there's a nice block. Tandem of Olivia Yulinak and Lily Schreffler. The blocking skills continue in the high five line after that. I think you only think might have got a little too much from Scheffler. Here's Braylon Ashmore. Maggie Jordan receives, set up, and attacked by Addie Kriegel. A little one on one between Kriegel and Sapp right there. Shelby will rotate in for Salina. Her first action of the night. And Sammy Reddig will do the service honors for Shawnee. Sap, oh, but wow. she's blocked. Upshaw and Kriegel denying Sapp's attack. Starting to see Shawnee's confidence really rise once again. Here's Sapp that time. She answers right back. And just inside that in line. Every kneecap sends the serve in. Hutchins back set for Kriegel. Now Kaiser to kneecap. Whoa. Tip at the net. 
Hardly hit, by, or hard hit by Leah Rudisil. I don't think she knows anything else but. <laughs> yeah. Everything I see her in, I mean, it's just wind it's up been and hard. wham. Serve for Maggie Jordan. Oh, good job. Looking for Upshaw. Tough ball to hit, but she was able to find an angle. In the middle for Liz Kinnear. 19-10, Shawnee. Jordan serve, shorter but received. That's gonna get just outside the back corner and it's a 20-10 advantage in this fourth set. And the Indians are feeling now. I mean, they doubled it up here in this fourth set. And Jordan's back there serving again and they've been a lot of points whenever she's back there. Riley Sapp though, not done. So I was saying earlier, when she's at the front, you know, that's the advantage for Salina because but when she has to rotate into the back, mm -hmm. that's not good for them. Still defends really, really well. They need her hitting yeah. up front, yep. so no doubt about it. Liz Kinnear. Kind of overjumped yep. that one. That yeah, ball was passed a little bit low. Just the, the timing and the rhythm wasn't quite right for that. Here's Jenkins to serve again for Salina. Reddit got up there to dig it out. Now Shawnee will set it up. Back for Upshaw. Great dig by the libero. Braylon Ashmore. I think it tipped the ceiling on the way over. Get that little guy yep. wire up there is wavering back and forth yep. right now. So that is ruled out. And Shawnee at 21-12 closing in. Third hit Good over. Job. And Hutchins. A tough one to handle. Jenkins gave it all she had, but that can you know, nothing you can do with that one there. Serve continuing for Sydney Burris. Reddick digs it out. Now Rutta Sill just taps it. Kaiser to sap. Now here's Hutchins. Great dig by Avery Niekamp. Akira Banga gets involved. How about oh that? My. It was started oh. with Ashmore, but great reflexes, Avery Niekamp. Shawnee could not recover it. Low serve, and Niekamp with the ace. It's just her fourth ace early. Early portion of the year. Or excuse me, that might have been Sap. Sap will continue. He just has to seed this one over. Kaiser a long pass to Kira Bangi. Here run is still blocked. And right. taking care of Lily Schreffler. The Bulldog's not going away quietly in this one either. Making Shawnee earn the last handful of points required. Can, does Salina have a rally left in him? For Leah Ruddesill. Oh, Good nice job by Jordan. 
Arabangi. And Shawnee continues to return attacks. Not Not down there. Way. That was Kira Bangi. Had enough on that volley. And that's what you need when you have a when you have a hitter like Sap who does go into the, into the back row. You need that second attacker to really take the load. And Karabank has really been trying hard tonight to, to be that. Long set for Hutchins. And out. Everybody looks around for a touch. And it sends out. And timeout. We'll take the break as well. On the cusp of it, we'll see if they can finish it off when we come back on WOSN. Salina on a bit of a roll here in the fourth set. Trying to rally back. It's a, a set that read 20 to 10 Shawnee at one point. But the Bulldogs not relenting. Bangie's attempt is blocked. Liz Kinnear. Now the Indians two points shy of taking the match. Josie Hutchins gets in. And Shawnee really needed that point. The way the Bulldogs are going, I think they had like five points in a row there. Miley Sapp, good long turn serving. Well placed by Kira Bangi in that back corner. Returns side out to Celina. Haley Kaiser set to serve. Have a short serve, but does the job. Nearly blocked in the front, but Carly Hutchins lands the attack. And it is match point for Shawnee. Kinnear serving. Off the top of the net. Bang with a third try over the top. Here's Hutchins. Ball game, Shawnee. Wow. And what a way to end it. Impressive match tonight for the Shawnee Indians going 25-18 in the eighth. Responding to a great third by Salina. 25-14, 25-11, 25-23 Salina in set three, 25-18. Shawnee goes in the fourth to take the set. Indians improve to seven and two. They're now three and zero oh in Western Buckeye League play. Salina will fall to one and one of the conference, two and five overall. Good match tonight, Dar, as we get to see Two of the top programs in the WBL go at it and really set the stage for the rest of the year. Yeah, it certainly will. And I mean, you look at the Shawnee Indians and, and what they brought out there tonight. They've got a couple big hitters out there. There's no doubt about it. But I was really impressed with the overall play of Maggie Jordan back there because I think she really ran the offense more than anything else. Then when she was back there serving, they were racking up a lot of points with their serving stuff. But she seemed to be everywhere for the Indians. And that set up the big guns up front you know, and, and Upshaw, and then Carly Hutchins as well, you know. And the other side, Salina played, played their hearts out. I mean, it was tough. They were down 2-0 right off the bat. They came back in that third set, put a lot into that third set. And you could tell it in the fourth set, because, you know, when you got to come back and, and put that much into a set just to stay in the match, mm -hmm. you know, you get to that fourth set and you, you, you kind of drain yourself. But they, but they tried in the fourth set as well. Strong match tonight for Miley Sapp once again. And... Uh, Shawnee's unsung hero you once again, Maggie Jordan. Thanks to Wabash Mutual Telephone for our scoreboard partnership tonight. Everybody here at Shawnee for the hospitality. And uh, that'll be all four, three sets to one for Shawnee. He's Darn Evergall. I'm Garrett Mansfield. Also, thanks along to the crew tonight and Megan Sherrick. We'll see you next time for more high school volleyball and stick in all fall. All fall season long, football, volleyball, and more here on WOSN.